So we talked so much about Giger Berlin, but what's going on with Volkswagen? Well, last Tuesday, VW Group's CEO, Herbert Diess, met with VW's supervisory board for three hours with no conclusion whether he would get a vote of confidence and get the contract extension that he's seeking. Now, there's another meeting scheduled for this week. We'll have to keep our eye on what's happening there. But is this a coincidence that Thomas Ulbrich, a VW board member and head of the e-mobility division, left the company? Wait, so I don't understand what's going on here. Why is Dees having three-hour meetings with the supervisory board? Well, I think Dees's blog post that he posted on LinkedIn on November 28th could give us a bit of a clue. Like we've been reporting, Dees gets it when it comes to EVs. He even organized workshops with 31 senior executives from VW, Audi, and Porsche dubbed Mission T. Mission T, T is in terrific? T, T is in it is going to be a race with Tesla, as Dees is quoted as saying. Uh, the opening question on his panel was, what do we have to achieve in the next six months to catch up with Tesla in terms of technology by 2024? Wow. All right, so Dees went on to say this in his blog post. Currently, the group's fleet of cars emits roughly 1% of global CO2 emissions. That's VW cars. For that reason alone, we have a special responsibility when it comes to combating climate change. My goal for the future is clear. Lead the group into a sustainable and successful future. The global transformation in the industry will take roughly 10 years with or without Volkswagen. To mitigate climate change, we must electrify our powertrains. Advances in artificial intelligence, especially in situations perception will soon replace drivers with a learning global neural network that will make individual mobility sustainable, incredibly safe and convenient. And he goes on to say VW has to change utterly from a collection of valuable brands and combustion engine products that thrill customers with their superb engineering to a digital company that reliably operates millions of mobility devices worldwide, communicates constantly with customers and improves services, comfort and safety weekly or ideally daily. So this all sounds great. I don't understand why he would be in trouble for saying any of this. I mean, I would understand if he was like, I'm going to the pool later, you guys, and I'm going to hang out and not do much as the CEO of this company. I would understand if Volkswagen supervisory you know, committee would be like, what is the meaning of this? Why are you just hanging around at the pool? Not good. You need to get to work. But the, well, he's, he's saying like, we need to do a lot of work and I'm going to be the leader to do it. Yeah, but see, you have to understand that VW is not owned by shareholders the way most companies you know of are owned by shareholders. Wait, but I thought this is a public company. It is a publicly traded company, but 53.1% mm -hmm. of the company is controlled by the Austrian Porsche family. Oh, it's a bunch of cars that own the company. And that's why they're all Porsches. They're all gas Porsches. And they're like, vroom, 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 which translated to English would say, um, you know, this bad, don't do that. It's hard because they spoke in engine German uh, translated to English. That's tough. But OK, so that's the problem, right? Uh, no, they're not cars. They're people. And they're descended from Ferdinand Porsche, the original owner of the company. Who was that again? Uh, Ferdinand Porsche. He designed this. That was a I'm sorry, you, you meant to show like a Porsche, I'm assuming, right? That is a Porsche. OK. And they, so, they actually named that tank after him. That's the Ferdinand. But I mean, that was a, that was some time ago. He's not still around is he uh no so on the board right now is ferdinand porsche what? he's still alive no, no no i'm sorry it's his great great grandson ferdinand oliver porsche he's uh serving on the vw supervisory board oh okay but wait so the porsche family owns a majority stake in the company and they also have full control of porsche the brand i still don't fully get why that's an issue i think you'll get a little insight into this by watching this clip from matthias doffner who's the CEO of Axel Springer, who gave Elon that award last week. I remember very well the year 2014 when we were hosting the gold steering wheel here at uh, Axel Springer, and you got the uh, award for lifetime achievement. And I was sitting in the first row with the then very successful and famous uh, CEO of a very big German car company, and I asked him while you were on stage, isn't this guy dangerous for you? I mean, this looks really serious. He said, oh no, don't worry. First of all, the whole idea of of, uh, electric driving it's never going to be a mass market <laughs> sure, second these happen. guys that a lot <laughs> these guys in silicon valley they have no clue about engineering about building really beautiful and great cars so we don't have to worry uh, by then tesla's market cap was 23 billion uh, today it's 536 <laughs> billion US dollars. <laughs> the market cap of VW then was uh, 86 and to today it's 77. 
and you could uh, you you are with Tesla two and a half times bigger than BMW, VW, and Daimler. So you see, we're talking about kind of the old guard here who don't who don't really want to change their ways. We talk about this on our show all the time: Ford, GM, Toyota. It's just the same old thing. Uh, we think we can just keep building engines. We don't have to worry about electric cars for years. Well, it all comes down to kind of profit. Like VW is going to have to probably go into debt to do all of this stuff. They're not just going to be able to be like, oh, you know this machine that makes engines? Well, you just click the little switch here. Dip. Oh, now it makes electric cars. <laughs> That's not how it works. You need no. to completely retool everything and every one at the whole company. And that is not cheap, which means that for quarters and quarters and quarters, which is all they care about, you're going to not be profitable right. and you're not going to be making uh, the Porsche family money. I mean, the key takeaway here is that what happens in the next few weeks is probably going to determine whether VW continues as a company or not. Wait, so you think that they're actually going to get rid of Dees? I'm not sure. I really don't know. I don't know which way it's going to go. They're obviously not happy with them because they haven't given them a vote of confidence yet. But if they yank them, then I think that's game over for VW. And if he stays, you think that VW is going to succeed? I think they have a better chance of succeeding because Dees does get it. But I don't know if they can catch up. He's already saying that Tesla's ahead by four years. Wow. So this is big news. This is big news. We're going to have to follow this closely. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Mondays and in-depths on Fridays. Just click the link down below to head over to the Now You Know channel.